Today, we're cooking up some largemouth bass. <laughs> Let me start out by telling you, no, I did not catch those fish. That was from a bass tournament. Those fish were dying or dead, and so they were gonna get thrown out. They asked if anybody wanted to take them. I said, absolutely. There we go, we'll put some Danos on that. That's right, now let me show you the best two ways to cook them up. First way, throw your bass out, and we're simply just gonna cut it into some smaller pieces. Just toss them in a bowl. So this part's real easy. I've had this fish breading before. It's probably my favorite I've ever had. Cut a slit into it, and it says you can either use an egg wash or just have them wet with water. So we're simply just gonna dump this in. And we can save the rest of that. Now you know we gotta add some of that blue top. That's the seasoning. It's made for anything that swims. Look like it's time for another bottle. Simply mix this all in together. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Now it's time to fry. Heat up your peanut oil to 375. And we're also firing us up a pan on the side for a simple pan sear, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. I'm gonna cut a couple tablespoons, grab your fish, throw them on a paper towel, and dry them off a little bit. Lay them out. This part's real easy, you guys. Sprinkle generously. Pat that in, give them a flip, and do it again. We're going in with the grapeseed oil. Simply lay it in. Before we go in, we give them one last toss around. As you can see, they're nicely coated. Now we just start to lay them in. Let it cook. All right, after a few minutes, we're gonna go on and give our fish a flip. Now it's time for that butter. We're just gonna drop a couple little pieces in here and there, get it down in the pan. Give this a look. It's only been a few minutes. And we are starting to get exactly where we wanna be. We can go on and turn this off. Both of these have been cooking for about five minutes. Our fish is starting to float. As you can see, when your fish is floating, you know it's done. That looks awesome. All right, with this fish here, there's no paper towel. We just go straight onto a plate. Now it's time for the most important step. Notice I didn't use a whole lot of seasoning in the batter because a lot of that ends up going to waste. This is when you use the seasoning, my friends. Sprinkle it right on top. Let's get this big piece right here. Look, just go right in there. It's hot. Look at that flaky white fish. Get you a dip. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. That is insanely good. Insanely good. Wow. Look right here. Super flaky. You got that crust on there that's flavor packed and not super salty because we're not salty, my friends. But remember, we got the right amount of salt. If I had to pick one, I'm picking that. That is unreal. The flavor stands out. Like I said, not salty. That's amazingly good. Either one of these ways is gonna blow your mind. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Go out there, throw the bass back, but if it dies, eat it and do this to it. Yum yum, get you some. We'll see you next time. Keep sprinkling.